hello everyone so in this experiment we will use four proof method to determine the band gap of a semiconductor so as you can see this is the setup which we have in our lab it will have a control unit and a oven so inside the oven there is the four proof so a schematic diagram of that four proof it will it will be consisting of four equally spaced tungsten metal tips with finite radius where the outer tips will be connected to a constant DC current power supply as, and the inner two metal tips will be connected to a high impedance voltmeter. This video will show you how to work with a 4 probe setup. So every connections will be already there so you don't have to do anything. So these are the connections which are for the voltage and this will be for the current and this knob will adjust the current and this is for the temperature of the oven and this is the oven if you take out this thing this is the four probe if you can see closely there are four probes tungsten probes and then this is where you are going to keep your semiconductor sample which will be give provided to you from the lab and you will place it inside the oven and then you will turn on the machine and then you will let it settle down for a few minutes yes if you can see this is the multi uh, millivolt and this is the milliampere and you have to turn on this toggle switch to switch between the multi voltmeter and multi ammeter and this is this knob is for adjusting the current and this knob is for setting uh, for adjusting the temperature of the oven remember when you increase or decrease the temperature then give the oven some time to adjust to the new temperature otherwise it will give you wrong readings these are the measurements which you have to take the probe spacing the spacing between the four probes the thickness of the chip which is provided to you the temperature of the oven and the voltage in the multi in the millivolt meter and this is the observation table which are which you are going to make in your registers so it will consist of temperature in kelvin and voltage across the inner proofs which will be in millivolt meter and this 10 to the power 3 by temperature which will be in inverse of kelvin and the resistivity and for the resistivity you are going to use this formula and after finding out the rho resistivity you are going to calculate the log of rho now these are the calculations which you have to do for the given sample you have to find out w by s which is thickness divided by the probe spacing then you are going to calculate the correction factor g7 which is given by uh, this equation and after that you are going to note down the temperature of the oven in kelvin and then the resistivity and the log of the resistivity and then you are going to plot a graph between 10 to the power 3 divided by temperature and log rho and that graph will be a straight line which will look something like this so you are going to find out the slope of this straight of the straight line and then put it in the equation uh, for finding out the band gap so in this experiment you are going to find out the temperature dependence of the resistivity of semicon semiconductor which in this case is germanium and you will find that the resistivity decreases exponentially with the increase in temperature that is uh, at low temperature resistivity is going to be more and at high temperature the resistivity is going to be less.